Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And we're addicted to good health. Today, we are going to be looking at vitamin C, which is also known as ascorbic acid. <laughs> so, JJ will be taking his vitamin C and telling us a little bit about vitamin it. Vitamin C. I'm taking vitamin C. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, yes, so I'm taking some ascorbic acid, some vitamin C, um, many great properties with, uh, uh, with vitamin C. I'm taking vitamin C in a capsule. You can also get it in a tablet. Uh, in some cases, you can also get it in a liquid form, but in this case, I'm taking 500 milligrams in a capsule. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. And vitamin C, some people need to take it with calcium, is it? Because it's too acidic, is that right? Or uh, all right, you're referring to buffered vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, some people that are a bit sensitive to it because it is an acid. It's only a mild acid, but it is an acid. Some people buffer it. I usually don't bother with patients having to buffer it. It's not a common thing I have to do. Is that the ester C or is that something totally different? Uh, that's something completely different. Ester C is a different form of the ascorbic acid that is reportedly more absorbable. I don't really see a difference. I just give people just straight vitamin C. I don't think it matters. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why is vitamin C important for us? Uh, if you don't take vitamin C, you'll get scurvy. <gasps> Only uh, sailors get scurvy. Come on. Some people get scurvy. I've, really? I've had a couple of patients that have had scurvy. Yeah. Yeah. I actually had one patient. He was in his 20s. Basically had a diet of beer and pizza. Ended up with scurvy. Loose teeth, bleeding gums. Serious. Vitamin C helped it out. But the pizza would have vitamin C in the tomato sauce. Not enough, I guess, eh? I guess he just got the really low uh, he didn't <laughs> low spring for the uh, extra tomato <laughs> sauce on his pizza. I, I, I don't know. Um, vitamin C, great anti-cancer property. Vitamin C is great for your immune system. Um, great for uh, preventing cataracts. A great study that if you take vitamin C, you'd be able to delay the onset of cataracts by about 10 years. Um, there's heart disease, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's probably like about 50, 60 medical conditions that it could treat or prevent. Wow. Great stuff with vitamin C. Mm -hmm. How much do you actually need to take each day? Uh, the recommended daily dose, I, I don't know because I don't follow that because I give things therapeutically. I recommend people take about 1,000 milligrams a day. I think that's a good daily dose of vitamin C. Uh, when you feel sick, I, I have people take a little bit more because it helps uh, uh, stimulate your immune system. Can you take too much vitamin C? If you take too much vi vitamin C, you'll get diarrhea. So you get an osmotic effect and it'll just basically pass through your stool. Um, some people mega dose vitamin C, for example, as a cancer treatment. Um, some of the people will take it for arthritis or they'll take it for, for different uh, disease conditions. So if you overdo it, you're not going to injure yourself. You're basically just going to end up with a loose stool. Um, there's some issue if you take too much, if you're prone to forming kidney stones, there's um, some conflicting evidence that, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't take that much vitamin C because it could actually increase kidney stone formation. But it's iffy in terms of if it really does that. Just be a bit careful. And if you have kidney stones, definitely check with a naturopath before you go higher than 1,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. Wow. I know I've mm. taken me up to even three or 5,000 when I've been fighting a cold. I've taken up to 15,000. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get loose stool, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> you know, don't worry. It's very important that you know these details. Um, and also in some cases, uh, we use it um, for uh, adrenal fatigue. Um, also in cancer patients, you could do, you could give vitamin C. However, we give vitamin C intravenously. So what we do is basically we just do an IV and then someone basically gets vitamin C intravenously. So you could go very, very high. You could give up to 100 grams, which is 100,000 milligrams into the body and you don't have to worry about getting the diarrhea and so on because it's deposited directly into the blood. So wow. a lot of interesting treatments we could do intravenously with vitamin C. Now, what happens if you're deficient? You mentioned scurvy. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, for falling out with your one patient? Yeah, exactly. Gingivitis, so gum problems. Um, also, you could be prone to, to just a weaker immune system. Um, there's a whole whole bunch of areas with vitamin C. Also, you're more susceptible to free radical damage, which is a very good antioxidant. Cataracts I talked about. There's a number of conditions that are affected by low vitamin C. Now, you can probably get enough vitamin C just in your diet from eating fruits and vegetables? Um, uh, you'll probably get a little bit, but I like people taking tablets and supplements also just to supplement what you'd be getting from your diet. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a number of food examples here, which are food forms of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So broccoli, which is a very good source of vitamin C, also a great source of calcium too. Uh, cabbage also too, and also what's great about broccoli, cabbage, and so on is that they're also good for women to help them eliminate 
um, one of their bad forms of estrogen, which is uh, pro-cancerous for breast cancer. So that's a little mm -hmm. extra bonus there. Okay. Uh, bell peppers, which are great. Um, bell peppers, just be a bit careful if you have arthritis. People who tend to have uh, arthritic conditions tend to be sensitive and react to bell peppers. Wow. I have arthritis, so I tend to avoid those. Huh. Um, citrus family is great for vitamin C, so look at all oranges. Most people know oranges are a good source of vitamin C. Uh, apples, a uh, very good source of vitamin C. Basically, most fruits uh, and vegetables are a very good source of uh, vitamin C. Um, the only issue is that uh, you try not to heat it up because the vitamin C is then becomes uh, basically breaks down because of the heat. Um, so definitely try to eat things fresh and raw. That's the best way to get your vitamin C out of your food. That answers my question about the pizza sauce earlier. Exactly. That's yes. it. You must have cooked up the tomatoes. <laughs> Very good. So eat your fruits and veggies and mm -hmm. take a little bit extra vitamin C to Correct. keep the doctor away. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's always good, though, to consult with a healthcare practitioner like a naturopath. Ta -da! And if you'd like to find one in your community, click on the Find a Practitioner link on our website, vitaminjunkies.com. And while you're there, don't forget to join the addiction where you can subscribe to our regular podcast. And also, while you're there, please complete our survey. We want to know what show topics you would like to hear. So vitaminjunkies.com. And when you complete our survey, you could win a chance to get a $100 gift bag from Hey Jute. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And let's continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do.